Open Heavens Devotional Saturday March, 4, 2023. Topic. Standing Before Kings. Memorize. Proverbs 22-29. Seest thou a man diligent in his business? He shall stand before kings, he shall not stand before mean men. Read. Proverbs 6 4-11. 4. Give not sleep to thine eyes, nor slumber to thine eyelids. 5. Deliver thyself as a roe from the hand of the hunter, and as a bird from the hand of the fowler. 6. Go to the ant, thou sluggard, consider her ways, and be wise. 7. Which having no guide, overseer, or ruler. 8. Provides her meat in the summer, and gathers her food in the harvest. 9. How long wilt thou sleep, O sluggard? When wilt thou arise out of thy sleep? 10. Yet a little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to sleep. 11. So shall thy poverty come as one that travels, and thy want as an armed man. Message. Not everyone gets the opportunity to stand before kings. Standing before kings represents being at the very top of your career or profession. It means that you have become so successful, you are also a king in your own field of operation. The Bible says that if you want to stand before kings, you must be diligent. Proverbs 22:29. Laziness must disappear from your diary. Slothfulness must not be part of your lifestyle at all. You cannot rise to the top of your profession if you are lazy. The Bible says, The hand of the diligent shall bear rule, but the slothful shall be under tribute. Proverbs 12, 24. Proverbs 23, 21 also says, For the drunkard and the glutton shall come to poverty, and drowsiness shall clothe the man with rags. In 1970s, there was a positive confession revolution. Many people confessed that they had Mercedes-Benz cars, but you'll find them still lazing around their homes by 10 a.m. on most days. Many years later, they were still making positive confessions but the Mercedes-Benz cars did not appear. It is not enough for you to confess that you will be great, you need to back it up with hard work. Greatness is not for lazy people. Proverbs 24 33-34 says, Yet a little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to sleep, so shall thy poverty come as one that travels, and thy wants as an armed man. It is the word of God that says those who would not work should not eat, 2 Thessalonians 3:10. He has given you the power to make wealth as promised that in Deuteronomy 8:18. but if you are not diligent at what you do for a living, the wealth will not come. God can open a door for you, but you would have to get up and walk through it. My God does not bless laziness. Key Point God does not bless laziness. Don't forget to share today's message with your loved ones of via WhatsApp and Facebook. Subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to get notified of Open Heaven Daily Devotional every morning.